Hi there! So today I am going to be doing something a little bit new and yet consistent with what I've been doing to keep myself busy the past several weeks and months and it's going to involve rollerblading. I am going to go to Universal Orlando and I'm going to rollerblade around the property. And I'm a little bit nervous but I'm very excited to get the kind of perspective of the property over there. Don't really know where I'm going to park or how I'm going to start this but I will figure it out on the way there I'm assuming. But this is going to be great. I've rollerbladed around SeaWorld, I've driven around Disney World a couple times, and Universal's the only one that I haven't really explored in this kind of a way, so I'm gonna do it! So I'm coming up on the Universal property, this is Volcano Bay right here on the right. This is gonna be a little bit harder than SeaWorld to rollerblade around because it's a little bit more complex of a property. It's kind of between SeaWorld and Walt Disney World. Walt Disney World would be pretty impossible almost to rollerblade around at the perimeter of that. SeaWorld was very easy. This might be somewhere in the middle, so I'm gonna try to find a spot to park, and then I'll try to just rollerblade around the, the main property, around the two major theme parks, I think. But here's Volcano Bay, right here on the right, and I miss it a lot, because it is very hot. Okay, and after parking a significant distance away, I've made it to the Universal Orlando Resort property. This is Universal Boulevard. I came down the road down there, which is Turkey Lake Road, and this is Vineland Road, which connects down to Kirkman right down there. But I think I'm just gonna keep it to the Universal property, and I'm gonna go and cross the street and start rollerblading. Okay, so I've crossed the street, and I'm now rollerblading down Universal Boulevard. It's pretty quiet on the street right now. It's pretty impossible to see, but way over there is the Portofino Bay Hotel, and I'm pretty positive that I'm just gonna kinda rollerblade past most of the resorts. This is kind of the main vein that goes through Universal. I didn't really want to rollerblade down the center of Universal. I wanted to kind of go around the perimeter. See, there's the Portofino Bay over there hotel. But you kind of have to come onto property at some point because I-4 kind of bookends the entire property and that's where Volcano Bay is. So far this is an incredibly pleasant experience and I'm a little bit disappointed that I've never had a reason to walk this property before like this or rollerbladed as I am doing right now. So I've arrived at the entrance of Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel which is currently not open and then right across from Portofino Bay is the Hard Rock Hotel. I'm a little bit sad that I did not do this in the opposite direction because this has all been uphill to get here which is a little bit lame. I'm also not going to go up to any other resorts because I don't really want to test the limits when it comes to what is appropriate or tolerated in terms of what I'm doing, which is rollerblading through property, because I imagine it maybe falls along the same lines as skateboarding, which I could see them being somewhat adverse to, so I just don't want to tempt it or test it. This is super cool to see from this angle. There's Portofino Bay way back there, and this is the water taxi area that would connect all the way over to Universal, and you can see where they kind of put up a barricade or a barrier down there of cones because it's still not open. So that is where I came from right back there with the Hard Rock and Portofino Bay and this is the entrance that comes off of Kirkman Road which I kind of I guess I avoided because I just went straight down Universal Boulevard instead of going down to Kirkman and then well instead of yeah instead of going down to Kirkman and then coming all the way down and then coming back this road so I'm just gonna rollerblade down here just real quick and show off the entrance sign down over here and then I'll make my way back and then back towards uh, the Universal property. This is actually really interesting. There's this miniature vineyard on this little pathway with Portofino Bay in the background back there. I've never noticed that before, but that's really cool. Okay, I've almost made it to this entrance and then again I'll make my way back. Okay, and I made it down to the Kirkman Road entrance of the Universal Orlando Resort. There's a new pedestrian bridge over here that is yet to open, but ultimately if I'd come down Vineland and then come down Kirkman, then this is the entrance that I would have taken, but there's really not much over there in terms of the Universal Orlando Resort, but here I am about to turn around and head back. There's the Universal sign right there, and woo, it is hot. I have my mask on right now because there were some people near me and I brought my mask in my pocket just in case. That is one of Universal's two massive parking garages, and then here are some signs saying Parking for Theme Park, City Walk, and Volcano Bay is this way, as well as Endless Summer, Royal Pacific, Sapphire Falls, Cabana Bay, and Aventura. And then over here is the Hard Rock and the Portofino Bay Hotel. So I still have a lot to 
rollerblade around. All right, so I've successfully crossed the street. That's Major Boulevard. That's where I took that detour, and I started way down there at the end of Universal Boulevard, which is where the Hard Rock and Portofino Bay are. This is the water taxi routes that'll connect you to the theme parks from the Hard Rock and Portofino Bay. And I'm just continuing on in this direction. Here's the other side of the garage. And this is just a very, very pleasant little rollerblading experience down past City Walk. And then hopefully uh, back towards my car at some point. It is very hot today and this is an incredible excuse to get some exercise and just to see a perspective of the parks that I never have before. So I'm all about it way back there behind the trees. That is City Walk. And if I'm not mistaken, I should be able just to stay on this side of the road all the way down so I don't uh, have to worry about impeding traffic. Okay, I stand corrected. I did have to cross that road right there, but that should be the last one. This is the central security hub for Universal that's connected by the two different parking garages, and I'll see the other one in just a second. But I'm getting kind of close to my, maybe not my halfway point, but at least I'm definitely in the heart of the resort. This is just such a unique perspective of Universal that I've just never gotten to see. I've always been up there, and I've never just been, whoop, fallen over. Gotta pay attention actually to what I'm doing. So this sidewalk actually leads to a dead end. It kind of does connect over here by the valet parking area and it doesn't connect across the street. So I may have just totally hit a complete dead end and I may not be able to actually make it to the other side of Universal from here. I, I went all the way back there, but there was a security guard back over there. So I didn't want to like poke around too much, especially wearing rollerblades. Also, a car got pulled over right back there. So everything suspicious is happening right now. Ah, there goes a water taxi, and I am just heading back in the direction that I came. Whoa! That caught me off guard! What's happening? I'm just trying to rollerblade around Universal. So what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is just head back in the direction that I came, continue what I'm doing right now, head back to Vineland, and then go back down that road to Turkey Lake, and then just take that down and just kind of see where I can meet in the middle of where I would have ended up somehow. I'm a little bit confused why that pathway didn't connect with the other side of the resort, but it does make sense from a pedestrian walkway standpoint, and that people walking from Kirkman would walk to the, the valet and then take that up to security. So it makes sense that it has no reason to connect, but for me today, it's like a bummer. I guess I am getting my wish to take this on the way back because again, it is all downhill, but the question is, can I handle it being downhill? Because I'm still a bit of a novice when it comes to rollerblading and this is kind of fast and I'm a little bit scared. Hooray, I did not fall on my face yet, but I've made it down to Vineland. I'm gonna go and cross the street and then take this back up and then back down the property because I wanna actually see the parks. I haven't really seen any of the parks. I've seen a lot of the resorts and the property itself, but none of the parks. And I'm back where I started going in the complete opposite direction of my car and the sprinklers are on. Oh boy! This has actually been pretty refreshing, so I'm not mad about this at all. There's not really anything to film along this way, it's just kind of the Hard Rock Hotel back there, but it's pretty much obscured, and there's an apartment complex, but there is the team member parking. So I passed by the apartment complex, which is right back there, and then all of this is the team member parking for Universal, which I should get a little bit better of a view once I turn the corner right up there, and that's gonna be back on at Turkey Lake Road, which is where I started this adventure. So I made it around the corner, but just Barely because all of these, well, this entire sidewalk has mildew all over it from, I don't know, just the, the water fountains, the sprinklers that have just collected mildew over time. So it's been very dangerous. And that's been the challenge of this video is that I just keep almost slipping and falling, which I did that at SeaWorld too, but I didn't really show it. So I didn't want to embarrass myself. This is the parking garage for Universal team members. This is essentially the entire Wizarding World area and Fast and Furious, but now I just need to kind of head down this way to Hollywood Way, get it? Kind of a pun. And uh, then just kind of continue my experience. Oh, I almost fell over. Again, Rip Ride Rocket is way back there in the distance. You can't really see it, but tucked away in the corner of the property is this tiny little Speedway gas station, which is kind of significant because this right here is Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, this entire area, which used to be Dueling Dragons, Dragon Challenge. All of this is now Hagrid's. There's nothing really super significant to show off along this stretch of Turkey Lake Road. I think I kind of hear Hagrid's kind of in the distance, but it's pretty muffled. 
And then right across the street is a high school, Dr. Phillips High School, so that's cool. Do you hear that Jurassic Park music? That's River Adventure right there. That is so cool. Wow, I love that. So I think I passed by Forbidden Journey, and then this is River Adventure right here, and I should be coming up to Hollywood Way in just a minute. I always knew that those rides were along this road, but I never thought you could actually hear them from the streets, so that is just super cool to find out. This is the final drop show building right there for Jurassic Park, and I've made it to Hollywood Way. Here's another Universal sign. So I've made it to my final stretch of my adventure today. Straight across the street, that's Cabana Bay, then Aventura back there in the corner, and then Sapphire Falls. There's a huge building right here that you can't see at all because of the trees, but that is Skull Island Reign of Kong that I'm just kind of hearing some very subtle bass from, but Toon Lagoon is just right here, and I can hear Dudley do Ride's Ripsaw Falls very, very prominently. This is Adventure Way. There's a little better shot of Sapphire Falls right there, and then Aventura way back there, and then Volcano Bay is way, way, way back there, but you can't see that at all. Sorry. My feet are starting to get a little bit numb, but that is okay because I'm having an incredible time. I'm starting to see Royal Pacific kind of off there in the distance, and then the Endless Summer Resorts are, they're way back there across I-4, so can't even see those at all right now. Okay, I can see the Islands of Adventure Lighthouse straight ahead, and I just heard the Incredible Hulk roller coaster launch, so it should be coming by here in just a second. Let me see if I can get around this plant. There it is. That's cool. And you can totally hear the music too, just coming straight from the speakers on that roller coaster. That's awesome. And a significant amount of time later, I can see that I've made it to the other side of City Walk. Oh, there's a beautiful view of the lighthouse and then the water taxi um, lagoon here. There's Hard Rock and Toothsome off in the distance over there. This is Margaritaville, Anhitos. I'm wondering where I'm gonna have to turn around up here, but this is just so cool to see. I love it. And it looks like I've gone as far as I can on this side of City Walk because that is security to get into City Walk, which I can obviously not go into wearing rollerblades. I'm so close to Universal Boulevard, which is right there. There's the other garage. Just kind of right around the corner. This is like the mini golf that City Walk has. This close to connecting my trip. Man, definitely a bummer, but it's, it's very interesting to just get to see this now, to fully explore the entirety of the resort pedestrian walkways. So I am now about to make the entire track around the property to get to my car, which is all the way over on the other side of where it could possibly be convenient. There is a little bike part of the road right over here, but like there's some people walking on it way, way, way down there, but I don't really want to tempt that, especially going in the opposite direction. So I'm just gonna do what I'm supposed to do. Just stay on the sidewalk and head back to my car. All right, now I've made it up Hollywood Way, and now we need to head down Turkey Lake Road, which I've now successfully done, making it down Turkey Lake Road. And now it's time to head down Vineland Road, which I have also successfully accomplished, making it down Vineland Road to Universal Boulevard, back where I first started. Now it's finally time, finally time, to take my bruised ankles and my blisters back to my car. All right, so I'm back in my car and I wanted to get a drive-by perspective of what ended up going wrong over here where I could not continue to rollerblade in this area where the sidewalk ends pretty much right over there to the right. I hope I'm pointing the camera kind of in the right direction. So that is the valet drop-off kind of over there and the sidewalk does not continue after that. Right up there is the moving walkway to get into Universal. There's the mini golf and there's no sidewalk over there and there is a sidewalk over on the other side I'm gonna go ahead and get in the right lane over here because this right around the corner is where I could not continue once I came around to the other side of the resort so there is a sidewalk that I think leads from over there to the security hub and let's see there's no sidewalk over here there is a bike lane on both sides, but no sidewalk. So that is interesting, yeah. So there doesn't seem to be a way to, unless you're, well, I mean, I guess there is a way potentially to get from one side to the other 
but definitely not rollerblading. You probably have to be walking and, and kind of go out of your way a little bit. And I made it back home, so what I have painfully deduced today is that it is not easy to rollerblade around Universal Orlando. It's actually kind of challenging with dirt on the ground and mildew and low-hanging branches and cracks in the concrete. I fell kind of a lot, embarrassingly, today, but it was still an adventure and it was very interesting to learn that of all the pedestrian walkways to get into Universal, they pretty much all go to a security checkpoint. So it is possible to walk around the resort, but it is a little bit complicated. You can't just walk around the perimeter like I could over at SeaWorld. It's a little bit more complicated than that. And it does make sense because the point of the walkways are to take you to City Walk, to take you to the theme parks. So having a walkway that would just kind of navigate around the property doesn't really make much sense but it was it was hard to rollerblade where i couldn't just take my rollerblades off and go through security and then get on the other side of the security checkpoint hub and then kind of continue around the resort even if i could do that i'm still not completely sure but so i i just made a very expedited trip to universal today and just going around the property doing something that i've never done before but always wanted to do in, in some sort of a fashion like this and I'm glad that I did. It was fun. It did hurt a good amount towards the end there as far as just my ankles and my thighs, but what else is new, right? So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. I'm glad that I got to do this because again, like I said at the beginning of this, I got to do SeaWorld. I got to go around Disney and doing something like this where I may not get the chance to do it again. I wanted to do it, so I did it. So thank you and I'll see you soon. And I need to hydrate right now and take a shower. So. Have a good day and goodbye.